yesterday we discussed about uh, some fury what is mean by fury how it will work fury why fury lot of things we are going to discuss today also uh, some of the objectives we are going to test how it can be work and all so everyone what is the t code to open the fury everyone what is the t code slash n slash ui2 slash flp flp very good very good so everyone let it be i will tell you one thing in sap easy access screen end to end like uh, gl ap ar asset accounting banking lot of things all uh, co all things we already discussed uh, configurations and testing let us do uh, today also we are going to test some of fury uh, fury testing everyone let it be on sap fury app testing today again fury app testing today i can test some of the apps one is bp creation bp creation bp creation let it be in the bracket let's create the vendor let's create the vendor and one more is called one more is called post vendor creation sorry post vendor invoice post vendor invoice and uh, post vendor payment then post or report report vendor line item vendor line item in the sap easy access screen in the sap easy access screen uh, i mean not in fury in sap easy access screen what is the t code for this everyone vendor creation what is the t code bp bp sir bp for example everyone let it be let us try to understand sap easy access screen t codes and fury app names fury app names L let's try to understand in the sap easy access screen to create the vendor or to create the bp what is the t code t code everyone bp sir bp in the fury app is called maintain business partner maintain business partner this is the fury app name this is the fury app name everyone and post vendor invoice what is the t code b60 yeah b60 and here post incoming invoice incoming invoice vendor invoice coming or going invoice is coming or going vendor invoice coming out coming no 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 customer invoice is going out vendor invoice coming inside document come inside customer invoice going outside vendor invoice coming inside if you purchase anything coming or going material service anything coming coming yeah and uh, next one is called post vendor payment what is the t code f dash 53 and fury app name is called post outgoing payment outgoing payment and here 
uh, vendor line item what is the t code fbl1 fbl1 sir fbl1 fbl1 and here fury app name is called uh, manage vendor outgoing where we need to check everyone yesterday we discussed where we want to verify app names SAP Fury App Library. Oh, in the Google, there is SAP Fury App Library. And here, select your all apps. Then here, you can verify Fury App names. Example, FB60. FB60, manage incoming invoice. Or, sorry, create incoming invoice, everyone not post here create it is something is different create incoming invoice create incoming invoice then same way f-53 f-53 enter post outgoing payment it is it is correct post outgoing payment next one is called fbl 1n FBL mm. Hare Krishna FBL 1N and here FBL 1N manage supplier line item okay manage supplier line item or vendor line item whatever okay this is the app name actually manage Supplier line item. Manage supplier line item. Okay. So I want to post this transaction on Fury for your understanding purpose on ECC screen, on SAP Easy Access screen, not ECC S4 HANA. Okay. On SAP Easy Access screen. What is the T codes? Here BP, FB60, F-53, FBL1. On Fury app names, this is the app names everyone. Better can you please note it on this? Note it on my dear students. Done, done everyone. Done. So let us open Fury. Done, yes, no, yes, no, my dear students. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. So now my target is. Let us create some business partner. Let us create some business partner. So, how to open Fury? What is the T code? Enter slash n ui2 slash flp. Press enter. Then um, here you can enter username and password. Yeah. 
username and password. So it will take some time everyone, requires some patience. Yeah. So now my first target is let us create business partner. Let us create business partner. What is the app name? Maintain business partner. In case if you have any, I mean, any clarification for app name, okay, Fury app name. So go to here, like to Fury app library, then enter your specific key code, like SAP will go into suggest specific app name lot of i mean related app names also will come you can choose your correct one okay now i want to create business partner let us create one test business partner how you created business partner in sap easy access screen same to same everyone no difference okay whatever fields is available same fields is available but this is the app that is an SAP traditional screen. This is an app that is an SAP traditional screen. This app maybe you can use uh, tabs, mobile, laptop, desktop, anywhere. Okay. So let us create business partner. So what is the name? Manage. Maintain. Maintain. Maintain uh, sorry. Maintain business something fury something slow in i mean now uh, is practicing server but in the real time not look like business partner maintain business partner so you already everything we already practiced now end to end fi co mmsd lot of things we already practiced and in sap is the access screen same thing we want to go and test here on fury okay maintain business partner take care of the spellings everyone if you enter wrong spelling uh, app will never come okay maintain business partner here this one So maintain business partner and obviously select here for example everyone let us go to SAP easy access screen for your understanding purpose in the SAP easy access screen go to BP so here let us see what screen is how look like screen is yes, this is the SAP easy access screen traditional screen this is the fury screen how look like same to same now nothing is changed same to same so here we are going to click on organization then here also we we'll, we are going to click on organization that's it whatever fields is available on sap easy access screen traditional screen same fields available on fury but that is an app this is an a traditional screen okay same to same everyone how you created we all End user activity, master data creation, document entry posting, report generation, what you tested, same thing you are going to test in the Fury. Okay. So here, uh, click on your organization. And here, obviously, you can take supplier financial accounting, supplier financial accounting. Supplier financial accounting, and here uh, 
create select your business partner i mean group bm domestic bp and here i mean vendor name example bm your vendor name example bm test vendor private limited private limited and come down come down come down here address let it be uh, balaji nagar uh, house number 4343 123 then 5300 16 hyderabad sorry tirupati country india reason is optional and 530016 and 16 then come down here you can select the language here you can select the language english so after this what we not what we need to do everyone after this company code ah oh, very good here company code click on your company code then obviously enter here your company code my company code is called bm10 press enter select here bm10 press enter then obviously here you can take reconciliation account domestic vendors then short key short key 012 vendor number and go to payment transaction terms of payment 0001 and press enter then click on your save here here in down down here in the right side down click on your save see here business partner has been created everyone do one thing everyone you created business partner in fury let us open this business partner in sap easy access screen you created something in here na? let us open this business partner in uh, fury Sorry, now we created in Fury. Let us open this on SAP Easy Access screen, same traditional screen. So, this is the supplier number, na? this is a vendor number. Let us take vendor number. Go to SAP Easy Access screen, go to SAP Easy Access screen, BP, and uh, now uh, let us take for name or supplier number and give it your supplier number. Press enter. This one now we created BP test vendor private limited. Is this correct? Yes, sir. Double click on this. See, this is the things we updated. This is the things we updated. This is the general data. If you go to supplier, financial supplier, and if you go to company code, this is the company code information we selected. Means what you people want to understand here? End user activities like uh, in the fin I mean consulting point of view, testing all master data, document entry posting, like uh, you know reports. Either you can do SAP Easy Access screen. Otherwise, you can use Fury. So what happened here? SAP Easy Access screen, traditional screen. Only you can access laptop or desktop, but Fury apps, maybe you can access any device like mobile, tabs, laptop, desktop, anywhere. You can anywhere. In case if you want to open uh, mobiles and tabs, your mobile and your tabs must be registered on the server. So contact to basis consultant, basis consultant registered your mobile on the respective server then you can easily access specific app for example everyone i am the end user i am the end user 
So end user can post specific transactions only. End user post specific transactions only. AP end user, AR end user, R2R end user, P2P end user. So different different end users post specific transactions. So that specific end users, we can give the access to specific apps. So you they, they can only use that apps. Then what is the consultant activity here? What is the consultant activity here? So now, for example, during the implementation project, during the migration project, we want to test these apps, like in the development system, quality system, UAT testing. So we want to test it is working fine or not. SAP Fiori is a one of the interface. Okay. Similar to SAP Easy Access Screen. Clear? Clear so far? Yes, no? Yes. For example, uh, yeah. Let us do one thing, everyone. Post vendor invoice. Post vendor invoice. Let us post vendor invoice, everyone. How we can post vendor invoice? So, what is the app name here? What is the app name? This is the app name. Create incoming invoice. Create incoming invoice. So let us do that. Go to app, Fiori app. And now I'm in uh, vendor, in, I mean BP creation now. So I want to go home screen. If you want to go home screen, click on your SAP, uh, this one, logo. Click on this. You can go to home screen. Fiori launch pad. We, we are called as a Fiori launch pad. Okay. Then here you can type in the such thing, create incoming incoming invoice. Create incoming invoice here. This is the Fury app. Everyone, let us go to SAP Easy Access Screen. Everyone, let us go to SAP Easy Access Screen. Regularly, you are using SAP Easy Access Screen, right? Open FB60. So, how look like you already tested these things like vendor number, document date, posting date, reference, text, expenses, GL, I mean, amount, like you know, cost center, and all everything you can enter. Same to same, like whatever inputs you are entering in traditional screen, same to same. Let us see, this is a fury. This is an a fury. First, we want to check the company code. First, we want to check the company code. Is this your company code? No. So, what is my company code? What is my company code? My company code is called BM10. Click on here. Okay. Here, here, check the company code here first. Check the company code here. Then remaining things as usual. Let us take the vendor, reference, documented, blah, 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 XYZ. Let us take the vendor. And uh, here, uh, what is our uh, vendor name, everyone? Uh, BM. What is the vendor name? BM test vendor. Huh? Test star and such. This is the one, right? BM test vendor. This is the number and all. And press enter. And as usual, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Press enter. And here we are doing testing. We are doing testing enter and here you can enter the reference i mean narration being vendor invoice posting then here you can enter any gl number expenses gl number even purchases also one of the expenses and i am giving double four double zero double zero so all the gls we are created in sap easy access screen you remember so 
the all the things are coming here commission paid any expenses you can take okay the amount is called uh, 1 lakh guys please join on time my dear students 1 lakh tap 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 here you can enter cost center simply cost center here what is our cost center bm fc right yeah bm fc then press enter enter then copy this amount control c and paste it here press enter how i means how you post in sap easy access screen traditional screen same to same same to same everyone okay simply click on your post here here everyone click on your post otherwise simulate and post as your wish here simulate and post as your wish document has been posted document has been posted now i want to display this document go to menu click on your document and display your menu document and display see 40 means debit, 31 means credit. Expenses account data to vendor. Expenses account data to vendor. Obviously, entry view, general ledger view, whatever view, all the views is there. If you want, you can see. Okay. Here, yeah. general ledger view and all. I'm now I'm going to home screen again. Home screen means Fury launch pad. The next one, next one. Let us post vendor payment. Let us post vendor payment. So, what is the T code in the SAP Easy Access screen? You have dash 53. In Fury, there is an app name post outgoing payment. First, let's verify in SAP Easy Access screen. So, regularly you are using now. Regularly you are using now. Go to F dash. 53 enter so this is the screen regularly you are using document date posting date whatever all the things you are using same to same we want to in fury let us go to google fury apps in the fury app here you can uh, post post like uh, what is that outgoing payment. outgoing payment post outgoing payment everyone here yeah, this one post outgoing payment see as usual now guys um, Please close your server review. Let us listen the class. So, what is my company code, my dear students? Here, my company code is called BM10. Then, as usual, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Document date and value date if you want. Document type KZ. Then, here, GL. Any cash GL or bank related GL. Outgoing payment, bank outgoing payment. What is the GL number we created in traditional screen? Double two, anyone? Double two, double zero, three one. And amount, amount is called one lakh. One lakh. Then here uh, it is a supplier or customer. Which one we are? It is a supplier. And what is the supplier number? Click on your browse. And what is the supplier number you want to take? Example here, supplier names will come. Okay. Here you can verify all which supplier name. This is the one, right? BM Test Vendor Private Limited. Yes? Yes, sir. Test Vendor Private Limited. Come down. And if you see here, you can observe here. All the open items will come. Selected open items you want to take here. If you press enter, guys, after entering this header data, if you press enter, 
enter if you press enter so for this specific vendor hare krishna show items yeah you just instead of click on enter here you can click on show items everyone if you click on your show item all the open items list will come here so for which line item which invoice you want to for which against of invoice you are posting the payment so you can take kr means vendor invoice right against of which invoice you are posting the payment so that invoice you can going to click on your clear if you click on your clear it will going to right side click on your clear it will going to right side come down and come to the right side then click on your simulate and post otherwise directly post click on your simulate simulate see everyone and uh, credit and debit what is the credit here credit is bank outgoing payment debit is vendor is this correct everyone debit and credit yes no yes sir yes sir yes sir you can observe here credit line item and debit line item click on your post document number what is this already assigned somebody changed my number ranges click on your okay Go to five table zero to take in the FPL FBN one company code BM one zero. Okay. Uh, KZ, uh, what is the number range, everyone? Zero five. Uh, What is the KZ uh, number range, everyone? Let it be OPA seven, right? Zero five. number it want to pick right <laughs> come cut to everyone I'm changing the number range let us take 12. You can post again, go home screen, post again. <coughs> so what is the app name everyone? What is the app name? Post. Post outgoing payment.
so you know right you can enter company code and uh, document guys don't touch my server everyone okay and obviously gl number what is the number double two double zero three one no? three one then amount one lakh and uh, here you can take the vendor then click on your show items come down and this invoice we want to clear and simulate and post otherwise directly also post let's simulate so here everyone our debit and credit and post see here document has been posted successfully and uh, one message pop-up has came did you observe everyone did you observe that one pop-up has came and went actually yes no you would not observe what? yes sir so you it will be posted okay so this is the document entry do one thing everyone let us see uh, G, I mean vendor line item. Let us see vendor line item. Let us see the vendor line item. In the SAP Easy Access screen, FBL 1N. SAP Easy Access screen, FBL 1N. And Fury app, this is manage supplier line item. Okay, let us see FBL 1N regularly you are posting now. I mean regularly you are generating. Uh, reports right fbl1 and uh, i closed that one huh? all right so go to fbl1 and so generally what type of details you are entering everyone one is a vendor number and company code then here you can select the parameters like uh, open items cleared item all item which type of status line item selection otherwise here also you can select some more uh, items okay i mean normal item special item noted item parked item we already tested everything on our class okay uh, so whatever inputs you are going to select same to same in fury also same to same in fury also let us go to fury let us go to fury what is the app name everyone what is the app name app name is called manage supply manage supplier line item huh? yes, okay manage supplier line item manage supplier so related apps will come if you type manage supplier line item supplier line item space line manage supplier line item And obviously let's observe here everyone let us observe here let us observe here first vendor number company code then here status i mean what you want open item cleared item all item which item you want and obviously let's take the date and here uh, what type of inputs you want like parked item noted item special gl transaction normal item which items you want okay similar to traditional screen same inputs you want to take but this is the app that is an sap easy access screen that is an sap easy access screen let us take everyone company code is called what is company code bm10 then bm10 and here you can take supplier 
So which supplier? What is the supplier name, everyone? Maybe this one. Huh? What is the supplier number? So a lot of supplies is count. Let us search. Search by company code. Enter BM10. Here searching credit, I mean inputs. So search by company code, name, region. How you can go into search? So I'm searching by company code. Give it here your company code, then click on here go. So here it will come specific one. So what is our this one now? BM test vendor. Okay. And here you can select I want all items, all items. Then click on your go. Click on your go. Let's see. KZ vendor invoice. Sorry, vendor payment. KR vendor invoice. KR vendor invoice. KZ vendor payment. One lakh, one lakh outstanding is zero okay Sim similar to traditional screen everyone similar to traditional screen okay same thing same thing you are going to test and uh, display example display document what is the t code everyone display document fb03 let us display the document also fb03 and uh, I want to find what is the app name. Where I want to check? What is the app name for FB03? Fiori Lab. Very good. Fiori Library. This is the library. So, FB03, enter. And here, display document or display journal entry. Whatever. This is the one. So related uh, apps names will come. You can choose correct one. Okay. And go to Fury and uh, display. So display document, right? Display document, this one. Mm -hmm. So, related lot of apps is there, more than 37 apps is there. So, select correct one. Example, let us take display document. Okay. Otherwise, display journal, you can take anyone. Okay. I am taking display document. This is the apps, everyone. Respect to apps. So here, uh, instead of this, go back here, here. This is the back, everyone. Go back here. It is asking document number. Instead of this, do one thing. Let us take display journal. So we want a specific, right? Document number and company code. This is a journal actually. One second, you can select correct apps, everyone. Lot of apps is there. You want to choose correct one actually. Okay, what is the document number, everyone? What is the document number? Do one thing. 
एक काम करेंगे क्लिक ऑन योर डिस्प्ले डॉक्यूमेंट वट इज अ डॉक्यूमेंट नंबर पी एम वन जीरो कैन यू वन रिमेंबर डॉक्यूमेंट नंबर so this is the document number right this is a document number and this is a reference number let us take vendor invoice document number document are you just control c and paste it here and uh, press enter it is asking reference number this is the reference number maybe we are checking different app everyone Hey Krishna, which correct one is speaking? Ah, huh? eight nine. So you are taking the same names. You are you will take document number two. Do one thing. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, huh? so, what is wrong? Ah, vendor number I'm picking up. Maybe this is a different app, everyone. Not for that one. Reference document number. Why it is asking reference document number? So on the Fury app, the document number is has changed. It's eight nine. Uh, it should be nineteen zero zero. Ah yes, right. Nineteen zero zero. That's something. Yeah. That one does not exist. A calm card, everyone. Let it be. Do one thing. You can go other way. Do one thing. Uh, FBL one n manage supplier line item. Go this way, everyone. There is a lot of apps, everyone. You can go and test. Do one thing. Manage supplier line item. Manage supplier line item. Do one thing. Let us go here and give it your uh, company code BM one zero and vendor search by company code BM one zero BM one zero. Click on your go. And all BM one zero related uh, vendors will come. You can select selected one, whatever you want. I am selecting all items. Then click on your go. So, for example, everyone, you just uh, double click on uh, KR here journal entry. Double click on this or click on this. and click on your journal entry again you just click on this document number so so much it's showing all the header details actually 
-hmm. One step back. Again, you just click on this. Are you following everyone what I'm telling? Yes, no? Yes, sir. 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 Uh, let us observe here. Let us observe here the document entry and all. Here now, even uh, you can see some uh, uh, journal entry analyze. This is the company code. This is the name. And uh, you know, this is minus and plus value, expenses account and uh, vendor account and all. Okay, here you can observe here. This is the app name, everyone. Okay. Journal entry analyzer. This is the app name. You can go this app name. Okay, you will find all accounting entries. Here you can enter company code. I mean company code, here a document number, and whatever inputs they want. You can give specific inputs, then click on your go and specific uh, document entry you are going to analyze. Clear, clear so far. This is the app name. Yes, no, you can go specific app name and you can analyze. And one more thing, one more thing, one second, one second, everyone, to be online.